have a little chat about maintenance side of things. So there's a couple of features that are available on the actual control to help you do this. And I'm going to guide you through them. So getting to the maintenance side of things, the smooth maintenance. So you click on the menu button and scroll across to your service menu, give that a tick. And in here we need to put in four nines. That's the default password. Give that a tick. And we're going to go down to check. Give that a tick. And I've got one there that says smooth maintenance. It's going to ask me what refrigerant address I've got. I've only got a one to one split here, so zero being the first address. And I'm going to do this in cooling. I could do it in heating. Normal would be equivalent to auto. So I'm just going to give that a tick. And what it'll do now, it'll start collecting data. It usually takes between five to 20 minutes to depend on the system. So the first page that comes up is information about the compressor itself. So we've got an idea there. So first off, it's telling us it's in cooling, which is what we set it for, so that's fine. Then we've got an idea of the running current. This one here is running at six amps, but it is a 10 kilowatt unit. It's about what I expect. It gives me an idea of the compressor runtime. So as it's in my training room, as you can see there, it's not exactly massive amounts of hours. And it gives me an idea of on-offs. If I'm cycling more than eight times an hour, I'd be panicking. What you're seeing here, that's perfectly acceptable. Okay, but just to give you an idea, and an idea of compressor frequency there as well, and see how it's ramping itself up. And on to the next screen, and there's some more information about the outdoor unit. So, an idea of subcooling. Let's give me an idea of TH4, so that's my discharge temperature. TH6, so that's the temperature of the refrigerant after it's gone through the actual outdoor coil and an idea of what it thinks the outdoor temperature is. Now, obviously my outdoor unit's actually inside my training room, therefore I've got quite a nice temperature of 21 degrees. Go on to the next screen, and it's giving me information about the indoor unit. Now I've only got one indoor unit here, so it's only gonna show me one page on this. If I've got multiple indoor units, it'd be giving me multiple pages. It's giving me an idea of what it thinks the return air temperature is. So I've got 27 degrees, and I've got a heat exchanger temperature of 8 degrees, just to give you an idea of the actual refrigerant temperature going through there, and an idea of how long the actual filter's been running since the last time it was cleaned. 